Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to prove that every finite integral domain is a field. So if you are interested in that, then just keep watching the video. Yeah, please subscribe. It won't hurt. So to start the proof, we suppose a random finite integral domain and use its features to prove that it is a field. But before that, let's revisit the definition of integral domain real quick. So integral domain is basically a commutative ring with identity 1 is not equal to 0 and containing no zero divisors. Here 1 is not equal to 0 means that multiplicative identity that is 1 is different from additive identity that is 0. So we have two different identities in this ring. Also the integral domain has no zero divisors whatsoever. If you don't know what a zero divisor is, I have a whole other video, video explaining its concept. It's pretty simple, so just check it out in the description box below. Okay, let's compare the features of an integral domain and a field. So integral domain is a ring. It, it is commutative under multiplication and includes multiplicative identity as well. The same features lie in the field too, except one additional features feature that all the elements have their multiplicative inverses in the ring except zero the or or the additive identity as zero has no multiplicative inverse so this is the only feature we need to pro prove that a finite integral domain has okay now consider that d our finite integral domain has these elements um, an additive identity 0, a multiplicative identity 1 and some other random elements we are calling a1, a2 up to so on a n. So we will prove that for any random element other than additive identity 0, let's say a that belongs to d, we have another element that is also not the additive identity in d let's say b gives multiplicative identity 1 on multiplication showing that they are inverses of each other we can find the inverse of a by multiplying it with all the elements of d so we got these elements a1 aa1 aa2 up to so on aan and all these elements are distinct from each other in d uh, you may ask why because if a is multiplied by two distinct elements in d and gives the same answer then by using cancellation law in uh, integral domains we say that those distinct elements were in basically the same also if you know the concept of zero divisors we know that no pair of non-zero elements gives zero on multiplication in integral domains. So all these elements a1, aa1, aa2, up to so on aan are actually non-zeros. If you don't know the concept of zero divisors, you know what to do. One other thing that we already know is uh, that D is closed with respect to multiplication. So it means that A1, AA1, AA2, up to so on, AAN are all distinct elements. They are all different from each other. But also these are the same elements of D that we considered in the beginning of the proof in some order. So we conclude that either a1 is equal to 1 which implies a equals to 1 by the way or aai is equal to 1 where ai is any random element of d so we have found the multiplicative inverse of a random element a which means that all the elements of d have multiplicative inverses in d so at last we look into the features of D one more time. D is a ring, D is commutative under multiplication, that's right. And uh, D has multiplicative identity. And now D has multiplicative inverses of each of its 
element except zero. Sounds about right. So my friends, D has finally qualified to become a team. Hence proof. Please share and subscribe to my channel and leave your requests down below. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.